The old ushered in the new today as William Winter introduced Bill Elaine to a shivering crowd of dignitaries and others on the steps of the state capitol. The state Supreme Court's Chief Justice, Neville Patterson, administered the oath of office. I, Bill Elaine, I, Bill Elaine, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will faithfully support the Constitution of the United States, that I will faithfully support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Mississippi, and the Constitution of the State of Mississippi, and obey the laws thereof, and obey the laws thereof, that I am not disqualified, that I am not disqualified, from holding the office of Governor of the State of Mississippi, from holding the office of the Governor of the State of Mississippi, that I will faithfully to discharge the duties thereof. I will faithfully discharge the duties thereof. So help me God. So help me God. Just after a 21-gun salute, the bitter cold and the sprinkling rain forced the remainder of the ceremonies, including the inaugural address, inside the chambers of the Mississippi House. Today, Governor Bill Elaine asked for harmony and cooperation from legislators he was often at odds with as Attorney General that past relationships in other capacities will result in confrontation between the governor and the legislature. I share no personal differences with any members of the legislature. And the governor governor Elaine did not outline any specific proposal saying that would come later, but he promised and education harmony. and preserving the Necessary Education Reform Act would be a top priority of his administration and a major point in his vision of greatness for the state. Almost that vision includes a time when both children and adults in Mississippi will have an education system second to none. That path charted in the reforms of 1982 will continue to be our roadmap. Reacting to the new governor's speech, some lawmakers said they were glad Bill Elaine promised to set aside any past differences between him and the legislature. As one lawmaker put it, the state has so many problems right now, they have no choice but to cooperate. All of that has to be put aside. It, it, we simply cannot afford you know, that, that bickering with the problems it faces. It, it, it's not a question of choice. That has to be put aside. From the state capitol in Jackson, I'm Ed Bryson, Newswatch 13.